Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to try to find an expression for the cosine of three times the angle in terms of the cosine and the sine of just one time the angle. And we're going to use the identity for the sum of the angles for cosine and sine. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to write it as the cosine of two theta plus theta. So we have it as the sum of two angles. Now we know what the identity for that is. That is equal to, and let me move over here a little bit so we have a little bit more room, the cosine of 3 theta, therefore is equal to the cosine of this, which is equal to the cosine of the first angle, times the cosine of the second angle, minus, because it's a plus there, this becomes minus, the sine of the first angle, times the sine of the second angle. And then, of course, we still have the cosine of 2 theta and the sine of 2 theta, so we're going to write that again as the sum of two angles. So this can be written as the cosine of theta plus theta times the cosine of theta minus the sine of theta plus theta times the sine of theta. All right, the cosine of the sum of two angles, again, the same way, where this is equal to the cosine of the first angle, times the cosine of the second angle minus the sine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. The whole thing multiplied times the cosine of theta minus, and then we do the same over here, the sine of the sum of two angles, which is the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus the cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. And of course, the two angles are the same multiplied times the sine of theta. So that's how we write it out in terms of just the cosine and the sines of a single angle. Now we just have to simplify. So this becomes the cosine squared times the cosine. This becomes the cosine cubed theta minus the sine square of theta times the cosine of theta. Here we have twice the sine of theta times the cosine of theta times the sine of theta. So that's minus 2 times the sine square of theta times the cosine of theta. So this can be written as the cosine cube of theta minus 1 and 2, that minus 3 times the sine square of theta times the cosine of theta. Now I can make that replacement. Now I can write this as the cosine cube of theta minus 3 times 1 minus the cosine square of theta times the cosine of theta. All right, simplifying that, so this is equal to the cosine cube of theta minus 3 times 1 times the cosine, so minus 3 times the cosine of theta, and then minus times the minus becomes plus, 3 times the cosine squared times the cosine is 3 times the cosine cube of theta, and now again we have common terms, we can combine those. So this becomes equal to four times the cosine cube of theta minus three times the cosine of theta. So that is equal to the cosine of three theta. And there is the identity where we can replace the cosine of three times the angle by an expression that just has the cosine of one times the angle. And that is how it's done. 